Now, most people think California is as liberal as it gets, but those people have probably not been to Orange County. Not far from my house in L.A., there are four contiguous Republican-held congressional seats that Democrats are hoping to flip, but they're going to have their work cut out for them. Los Angeles, downtown's Union Station, probably isn't where you'd think to start a quest to find some of the most traditionally Republican territory in America. The biggest county in America is also one of its more diverse and democratic. But if you take a short train ride south, Thank you. the politics can seem a world apart. It used to be that when you're going from L.A. to Orange County, you cross through what I guess political pundits would call the Orange Curtain because you'd go from a very Democratic area into a very Republican area. Uh, but this year, back in Washington, the Democrats are hoping that's changing. So you all live in Orange County? Yes. If you watch the news, all you hear about is Brett Kavanaugh, right? The guy yes, who's... That's... What, what, Gloria? No, that that's all you hear about. So, you know, it's hard to think about something else and all you hear is about Kavanaugh. Do you think that that's what you're going to be thinking about when you go into the polling booth on Election Day? I hope not. You hope not? No, I hope not. What are the things you'd rather be thinking about? Traffic and pollution. Traffic and pollution. We hopped off the train in Irvine so we, like good Californians, could carpool with the rest of our team. Democrats' hopes of winning here hinges, at least in part, on turning out people of color and young voters. So we headed to the local University of California campus. This is in now Burger, legendary California institution. If you want to know what Californians think, this is where you have to come. What do people care about in Irvine? Myself and a lot of my friends are like minorities, so we're a lot into like minority rights and stuff. Are there enough of you guys to actually flip the district? Uh, I hope so. Bus stop at UC Irvine. There are, I think, 26,000 kids that go to school here. And uh, if the Democrats can get all of them to vote for them, then maybe Republicans will be in trouble in this district. But I don't know. Sorry, not to be annoying, but we're with NBC News, and I'm just trying to figure out, is anybody here going to vote in the election on November 6th? Anybody? Anybody? Nobody's going to vote? Is anybody going to vote in the congressional election in November? You are. Thank you, sir. Yeah. What do you care about? <laughs> what do I care about? Yeah. Um, school. 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 What about you? I'll walk with you to the bus stop. You guys get on this bus? Yeah. So if you were going to vote, what, what is the thing that's going to get your vote? Probably school. It's expensive. I was going to say, you're not talking about the issues that people talk about on the news all the time. The Russia investigation, the Supreme Court. The you don't watch that stuff. I don't watch the news. <laughs> are you registered to vote? Uh, not yet. Not yet. How old are you? 18. 18, so this could be your first election. Yeah. And ultimately, you could decide whether or not the House of Representatives is in Democratic or Republican control. Are you thinking about all that? Um, not currently. Maybe if I took more time to like get informed about like what's going on right now in politics. I assume that the people voting have at least some idea of who they're voting for. Are you going to vote? I should. We're like the most unreliable voter demographic, mm -hmm. so I should vote to like increase those numbers, you know? Well, that's what the Democrats want. <laughs> yeah. But they can't count on you guys necessarily. No. No. Slowly, if you keep asking us these questions, the, the rest of the people our age are going to keep doing it. They're like, oh man, better vote. All the old people are telling us to vote now. <laughs> oh, am I old? No. <laughs> Older, sorry. Dude. <laughs> Show of hands, I'm, Jacob old. Old. I'm, old. I'm getting there. <laughs> um, so you said, obviously, these are re reliably Republican districts. I mean, are the Democrats even within striking distance? Yeah, that's the thing. So in all of these districts in Orange County, the Democrats could win if young people turn out. And I was actually talking to the Secretary of State of California yesterday. He told me there's now automatic voter registration. If you're 17, you're registered to vote. Oh. But not Democrats, not Republicans are the top party. It's declined to state. Nobody, young people do not want to identify with a political party, which <laughs> means neither of these parties are reaching these kids, obviously. Yeah, okay. if they're well, counting on young people, that's right. not going to make them feel They got a lot good. of work to do, yeah. It's oh. a fascinating look, buddy. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're not old. <laughs> oh, <my>. We're old. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>